Good morning. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun, t <laughs> fun today doing these four women drinking coffee. Uh, so take your time and sketch them out. You know, that's the important thing. If you get a good sketch, you won't have any trouble at all painting. It's a very easy painting. Uh, a lot of negative shapes. Anyway, uh, so we're going to drop some blue on the top part of that. And that blue can be whatever you want, really. I use the little Windsor blue mixed with ultramarine. All right, on the flesh of these women, uh, I'm using raw sienna with a touch of cadmium red. And if you feel like it's not bright enough, you know, you can use a touch of quinciana. Uh, but make sure you make it dark enough. You know, a lot of big problem with students that they paint uh, the skin too light on, on uh, Caucasian people. So what we're going to do here is go through uh, all their legs first. I'm doing this while the sky is drying. Okay, so you can you can uh, follow me along here if you want. Uh, okay, so I put in the legs. I dried it here, so the legs are all dry, and I'm putting in the ocean. There's uh, this this sitting in front of the ocean. And there's actually some sand, uh, sand banks behind them that we're going to put in. But uh, let's get the ocean in now. You want to paint this very delicately, you know, around these women. Don't, don't lose any of the whites uh, on their heads and so forth. That is Windsor blue and ultramarine blue mixed. Okay, so just get that in. And uh, we'll let that, while that's setting up, we can get in uh, the sandbanks, the dunes in the background. Okay, these are dunes, and this is the grass on the dunes. All right, just paint it carefully. There's a lot of negative painting in this, uh, in this painting, so uh, you don't have to worry too much. These women have really dark brown hair, so. You want to try your best to go up to that edge, but all right. So just look at it as a sand bank. You know what sand uh, dunes look like with this, with the grass on top of it. And that's all we're looking at here is the grass. So that'll dry a lot lighter. We want that to be off in the distance. Okay, yeah, take your time with that. That's pretty easy. Um, just painting around the women, that's the careful part. You don't want to lose any of the white on the, on the ladies there. That's, what, that's kind of the fun part of this whole painting. Okay, all right, so we're gonna go into the women now, and the same thing, same colors. Uh, raw sienna mixed with some cadmium red. Uh, you don't have to paint around the sunglasses here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my time with one, one of the women and then speed it up as we go into the other women. You don't want to watch me paint every single one of them. Be careful not to lose the cups. You know, the, this whole thing is about them drinking coffee. So it's just, you know, cadmium, uh, I'm sorry, raw sienna with cadmium red. And if you want, you could put a drop of rose in. Uh, but you know the, the color of skin. Just make it dark enough because it's going to dry a lot lighter. Uh, we will go in later and put shadows on this flesh, on these flesh tones. But for now, we just want to put that first coat in. Paint very carefully. You know, get the hands in, the toes the knees, you know, all the flesh that's showing, we want to put that in very carefully. We're going to go back and put more shadow on, but I'm just filling in places that, that I missed uh, with the first with the flesh there. All right, so we're going to speed through the rest of these uh, three women. Same thing, you know, all the same colors, raw sienna, 
cadmium red, maybe a little drop of rose here and there. Use the towel to, uh, you know, use the towel to uh, pick out any lights you need or if you make a mistake. Or, you know, I'm not painting the hair right now, just the flesh, the, you know. Don't worry about the sunglasses or anything like that. Just the shape of the arms and legs and the hands and the face. All right. Okay, now we're gonna knock in the, the floor. And it's just, ultra, this is ultramarine with Quinn Sienna. And on the bottom there, I'm not gonna bother with the legs of the chairs and all that. You don't really need them. Uh, we'll just make it dark enough underneath there. Uh, I'm putting the photo there so you can see it, but I'll get that out of your way. All right, but I want you to see, get it in nice and dark. And then in the front here, in the foreground, nice horizontal strokes to make it look like flooring, you know. I'll show you that in a second, but we'll just whip through all of this. Don't paint over any of the white. Your robes are hanging down, you know. So get a good sketch, you know, it's all about getting that sketch. Take your time and take your time and draw those uh, figures in there and the legs, you know, the legs are extending down with the dark floor around them. So you don't want to paint any of the, lose any of the legs or their, their robes hanging down, you know. All right. The fun part of this is, you know, the way they're sitting, their legs are all in exactly the same angle, all right? Nice and dark. Nice negative shapes here, painting around those legs. There's some, some nice shapes in between uh, the women where you can see through a little bit. I'm just going to paint those the same dark. I was going to put some of that green uh, foliage uh, leaves or whatever it is that's growing up behind there, but I didn't bother. I thought I'd just leave it, you know. All right, we're gonna do the same thing here now. I'm going over these women. I'm painting the, uh, their hair and the sunglasses and some darker shadows on their skin. This is, these are all the same, kind of the same colors, you know. This is, uh, I'm just making this a little darker. The, the sunglasses are Quinciana a little drop of uh, ultramarine if you need it. I painted the glasses first and then as it dries I'm going back in with a darker brown color to do the rims of the glasses and all that. So this is a shadow on her uh, chest underneath the cup, you know. Be very careful here. Wonderful exercise in, in doing these shapes you know, with the tip of your brush. Have fun with it, you know, do the best you can. Don't worry about it. It's a good exercise. Very careful around the hands and, and uh, making sure you don't lose all the light, you know. The shadow on the arm. And those are, that's really just the same colors, you know, the raw sienna with some cadmium red or even a little drop of quin sienna to get it a little darker and keep it nice and warm and dark. You almost can't go wrong here with the, with the dark, you know. All right, there's a shadow on that side of her face uh, that I'm putting in. 
can just barely under a little shadow under her nose there. My uh, the hands you can see just just study the you know study the photo, see the shadows as little shapes on the hands. That's what creates it for you. You know, some light and darks, and her hand is resting on your knee there. Okay, and there's a shadow. A little darker shadow in there. Nice warm shadow on this side of her leg, on the left side. Just soften that edge. A little water, really. Just softening the edge, you don't want a sharp edge on a rounded, a rounded leg, okay? All right, just very carefully hitting those shadows. Little tips of her toes put a little color in there. All right, we're gonna do her hair now. This is ultramarine with uh, quinciana. Uh, that's a deep brown, and then you know you can make it add more more quinciana to it and brighten it up. But on the inside, it's really shadowed. So you know, again, nice negative shape, negative painting there. A little bit of raw sienna on the edge where the light is hitting it, or maybe quinciana, whatever you like. It's a brighter. Sun is hitting part of that. So as you put the, you know, the the uh, hair in, you know, around her face, you can see how light her face is. It's a little too light. So we're going to have to go back after we do the hair. Uh, we're going to go back and darken those sunglasses and put a little more shadow on her face, a little more color, little fringes of hair. Just touch it, uh, get her little, little bit of her uh, eyebrows are showing. So I'm doing the rims of the glasses now and getting them a little darker here. <coughs> Touching just under her nose, a little bit of shadow under the nose. We're not going to really touch the cups at all. We'll leave those cups nice and white. All right, so I'm gonna speed through the rest of these women. It's all the same process, same colors. The skin tones, raw sienna and quinciana, maybe a touch of red, you know, you, you have to judge your own, your own skin tones. Just painting the shapes very delicately around the hands. You don't want to lose all the light, you know. Okay. Same thing, shadow on the legs. I'll just let you watch it now and Okay, same, same hair color, basically, ultramarine with quinciana. You can drop a little bit of red in there if you want to have a redhead, um, you know, cadmium red. Nice dark sunglasses, shadow on her chest, underneath her chin, creating a nice shadow. Again, very delicately painting her hands. Shadow on her legs. Just study the photo, you know, you see I'm holding the photo, so I'm really studying that right out. And nice dark sunglasses. A shadow on that side of her face. Nice and loose, you know, put it in and touch it with some water. And 
spread it around. Shadow on her chest, her arms. Okay, so it's all the same. Have fun with it. It's really a fun thing to do. All right, so there's a little bit of shadow on the robes themselves. That's a very light cobalt blue with just a speck of rose. Will give you a nice violet. You know, if you want to make it gray, you can add a touch of raw sienna. But it's very blue. You know, it's cobalt blue with a tiny touch of rose and just very lightly, you know, here and there, they're white robes and it's nice and bright and that's part of what we want, you know, we want that fun, that whole big shape, they tie to get, the shapes tie together, you know, the white, the white of the robes goes right through all the women, you know, so it gives a, you know, this nice abstract impression of almost one shape. study it out and see where you want the shadows, okay? shadow on her uh, on the right on her right side our left on her head piece there the big towel wrapped around her head <laughs> very funny it's a very funny painting you know it's it's fun all these uh, ladies out at the spire or wherever they are you know on the beach having a cup of coffee on the on the water Solving all the problems of the world. All right, nice cool violet shadow here and there. You know, nice and juicy. Keep plenty of water on your brush. Move that around. All right, this was really a lot of fun. Great, a lot of fun. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate it very much. And I will see you again very soon. Thanks for joining me.